So abemacyclib is um, the most potent of the three CDK4-6 inhibitors. It's about 14-fold more potent against CDK4, which is the major proliferative um, cyclin-dependent kinase in ER-positive breast cancer. It also um, is given continuously. It's not given with the needed seven-day break to allow for recovery of neutrophils. That's probably most important in more highly proliferative disease. If breast cancer is more slow growing, that seven day break required once a month probably doesn't make any difference. But with the more aggressive breast cancers, taking that seven days off may be more problematic because we know that once the, um, the drug is gone out of the body and the half life's about uh, a day, day and a half for these agents that you will see a rebound in, in cell growth. These are cytostatic agents. You will see a rebound in growth. So that's probably an important consideration is the fact that you don't need to take the seven, seven days off. And it's very, very highly potent so that you can get very good clamp down on that CDK4. And that's important in these aggressive breast cancers. You've got a very strong proliferative signal coming in from FGFR. For example, that's a very, very uh, adverse amplification to have in these um, breast cancers. The other issue that I think about is that the abemacyclib, of course, is mainly a CDK4-6 inhibitor, but it does hit a broader profile of, um, of proliferative proteins, such as cyclin D2 uh, to some extent. Cy cyclin D2 is very important other cyclin dependent kinase, it complexes with cyclin E, where the CDK4-6 complexes with cyclin D1. Now, in an interesting presentation here at uh, AACR, we saw an updated results from Dr. Nick Turner regarding the Paloma 3 trial, which was fulvestrant plus or minus palbociclib. Looking at about 300 patients from that trial that had archival tissue available, they did, did gene expression profiling and looked at cyclin E. Cyclin E has been of concern because it could be a resistance mechanism to the CDK4-6 inhibitors that complex with cyclin D, which are really inhibiting well with the CDK4-6 inhibitors, but if you've got a lot of cyclin E around, that's, they may not benefit from the, um, the palbociclib. And basically that was what was found looking at um, above the median and below the median, patients with the lower cyclin E expression really benefited greatly from the palbociclib, and those with the cyclin E above the median benefited from, from palbociclib, but much less well. So that was really quite, quite interesting. And it really suggests that cyclin E CDK2 could be a very important mechanism of resistance to uh, palbociclib. And we know that abemacyclib can inhibit uh, CDK2. So in patients with the more aggressive concerning cancers, probably all the cyclins are on, you know, all systems are go in proliferation. And that's how I think of it, that um, abemacyclib's mechanism of action may just be broader. Another interesting point from Nick Turner's update of the Paloma 3 is that they did look at the luminal A versus the luminal B breast cancers, and also about 20% were considered to be HER2 enriched by gene expression profiling. All three subsets benefited, including, interestingly, the HER2 enriched, and of course, these are ER positive, HER2 negative patients from the Paloma 3. But interestingly, the differential benefit from palbociclib came in the luminal A breast cancers, the more endocrine therapy sensitive less highly proliferative. There was benefit in luminal B, but it just wasn't, it wasn't as great, suggesting again that there's other mechanisms of proliferation stimulus in those luminal Bs, you know, more genomically unstable, more alterations, more ways for those cancer cells to grow. Palbociclib was certainly um, beneficial, just not as differentially so. And so we haven't uh, seen a breakdown yet uh, from 
the abema cyclic for the luminal A versus luminal B, but we have seen in the data I presented here at AACR, uh, you know, an analysis of the higher grade versus the lower grade, and abema cyclic is interestingly more effective, you know, differentially so in the, the higher grade disease. PR negativity goes along with luminal B disease as well. Greater benefit in, the, in that more concerning uh, population.